How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. <laughs> Alright. So, you know, you can't really go wrong with Nostalgia horror, horror without going back to one of the core roots of YouTube horror. One of the oldest known horror series on this platform. And in case that loading icon doesn't give it away, first of all, this warning, I forgot about this too. Anywho, if we ever get to it, holy crap, <laughs> welcome to Let's Play Slender the Arrival. A game that I'm pretty sure at this point is 10 years old. So, yeah, definitely nostalgia. Let's jump into it. See what we got. See what we got. Now... Ooh, okay, I can only go normal on difficulty. Let's do that. Alright, yeah, you know what? We're perfect. Perfect! That's the best we can do since we've never beaten this before, I guess. So, cool. Gotta make it at least a little bit difficult. <laughs> I never really found the Slender Games to be that hard. Like the eight pages. Ooh! Looks like I'm driving up in a car. So often are we guided by our devotion, our love, our affection. Yeah. A bond that pulls us down paths not bargained. That doesn't sound as appealing. And when you find yourself alone as he casts out that something, how far will it carry you? That determination, I'm assuming. Alright. Hold L2 to run. Wow. Wow. My run sucks. <laughs> I'm sure it's limited, too. Wait, this is being recorded? Outside of me recording it? What the hell? What's the big idea? Blue Isle Studios proudly presents. Haven't heard that name in a while. In a very odd minute. I wonder what they're doing now. In association with Parsec Productions. Same questions. And statements. Alex Tinter, the original creator of the Slender Man Creepypasta, I believe. I, forget, I did not catch the last name, but the second name was Brendan, I believe. Garrett Marks, Mark Hadley, and Ashley Marie. What their involvement with this game is, I have no idea. M.D. Thomas something and Michael Cuss. Dang, Michael must have a big dirty mouth. <laughs> That's stupid. Troy Wagner, Tim Sutton, Joseph Delage. Delage? I don't know. Alright, anyway. Moving on. I recall correctly, because I think I played this a long time ago when it first came out. I think this is where I want to be. And holy butts, it's dark! Hello? Uh, I'm going to shut the door. I don't want anyone breaking in. Yeah. Like that's gonna mean anything. Hello? Mama? Papa? Is anybody home? I can't see Jack. Flashlight, lighter, batteries, kerosene, and extra tapes. Lock the house. Hey, um... Honor 
starring the life of Beth Hayes. October 18th, 2000. Oh my gosh, that was a long time ago. 9 a.m., Grace Hill Cemetery. 6 615 Everson Street. Pastor John Taylor. Okay. Rest in peace. Zero new messages. One old message. Okay. Hey, Kay. See you again. I hope everything's okay. I know there's been a lot to take in and wrap your head around. It'll be good when Lauren gets there to help you sell the house. Take sure. a little load off your mind. Give me a sure. call when you get the chance and we can talk. Take care. What a kind man. Two to return to the main menu. Uh, no, thank you. I I didn't really have intention of listening to that, but, you know, curiosity got the better of me. At first I thought the thing... At first I thought this box was a Ouija board. I have no idea why. Wow, I'm so good at music. I mean, IRL, I'm actually pretty good, but that was... Uh... I'm not the greatest, admittedly. Not even close. I can list several people that I know who are way better at it than me. Still. Please let me in. This is number two. Oh boy. Okay. I guess we're already looking for eight pages. Thanks for calling last night. Probably sounds dumb, but it was good to hear your voice again. Good to hear that Lauren's been doing really well, too. But, yeah. About what I always said, I'm not sure what to think of it yet. What are the odds of two people having the exact same hallucination? Could it really just be a coincidence? No! I have to go to my doctor today for some routine stuff, so I'm going to try and casually bring this up and see what he says about it. I'll let you know how it goes. CR. Who the hell is CR? I for I feel like I don't want to interact with this, but... Actually, that is... I like that music. I keep it playing. I also don't like the fact that I can't see anything. Hold on. Options. I'm gonna... Uh, no. I'm gonna... No! That's what... No. That's what happened. E freaking ha, buddy. Shut up. Hey. Shut up. Yeehaw, but shush. <laughs> okay, so I guess go in here. Alright, we're back in this room again. Dang, man. Okay, then, I guess not. Oh, but Jesus. It is way too dark to tell anything. From anything. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't want the windows open. This is a horror game, not Night at the Museum. Well, this looks familiar. Wonder where I've seen that before. I 
Thank you. I can't thank you enough for coming all, all this way to help me out. It's been a pretty rough road trying to sell this old place. I wish I had turned to you sooner. You have no idea how happy I'll be once this is all behind me. Love you always, Kate. There we go. All right. Okay. At least if I, at least I can see something now. Oh, uh, okay. All right. This area kind of is a little more or less. Oh, hey, it's Kate and someone else who looks very, very familiar. I'm assuming Kate is the one on the left. Um, the hell do I know? I don't know nothing. All right, there's these uh, interesting photos and the pictures of Slender Man and his forest where the eight nine, seven pages, right, depending on what version of the game you played. The original was eight, but, you know, they couldn't stop making different variants. At the time, at least. I still remember there was, like, this secret patent story where if you did a very specific something, I think it had something to do with the radio, you could actually trigger Michael showing up in a fire outside the window. I never really knew how to do that, though. Okay. Well, that seemed utterly useless. And I thought I shut the door behind myself or on my face or something. Uh, hello? No pages anywhere? I thought that was the point of the Slender game. To just several stages of collecting pages. Uh, excuse me, can I get out? Thank you. Still unnerving regardless, though. Whoa, there he is! <laughs> Our friend and buddy, Slendy Boy! <laughs> oh, no. The tour needs a key. Dag nabbit! Oh, Slendy Boy. I'm sure you... <laughs> I'm sure you want to play, but, um, this is my house. My home. Mine. Let's check the backyard. Oh, hey, my car. Um, looks like it hasn't been dried to hell. The gate is open. Bit disconcerned by that. Harold. Slendy's here. Our big pal man friend Slendy's here. Look, big pal man friend Slendy, could you just not? Just 
Don't turn around. Whatever you do, do not look back. Number one rule of the Slender Games. Never turn around. Person runs. Am I supposed to get caught the first time? I actually can't remember. Recently, I've been playing a lot of games where your ultimatum, the first thing you do, you're supposed to get caught, but I don't know. Alright, I'm just gonna shortcut my way through because I don't wanna die. Where are we going? Oh man, this person. If they could run any slower. Yeah, you know how I said don't turn around? Going in that house is probably a bad idea. Hello? Now, generally, in the past, we collect eight pages, but, um... Pretty sure in the arrival, that's not the case. Slendy! Hi! You look like you're having fun. Hi. Okay, now. Bye-bye. I came from over there, so I might as well explore this. Hear sounds that I'm pretty sure I never wanted to hear. No. Stop for no damn reason, you idiot. Hmm. So then... What is the point of the over here? I'm obviously missing some... Uh, wait. I 
wish my character could jump. That, uh, it'd be really convenient if it was the case, but, you know. I guess that's asking a little bit much for a Unity game. Which is fine. That's fine. Where are the actual pages? Aren't we supposed to be collecting pages? Welcome to Dark Side Park. This is normal mode, right? Aren't there supposed to be like pages or something? Find me Loria? Lauren? Find me, Lauren. Wait, am I Lauren or He came for me. Why didn't I listen? He was right. He said this would happen. Help me! Need CR. He knows how to end this. Come find me. Don't let him in. Okay. As reports of missing surveyors and prospect. Wait, what? Progress saved in the scene select. Okay. Current goal search for clues as to Kate's disappearance. Okay, so I'm not Kate, I'm Lauren. Probably. Okay, well, this has been an, a good intro episode, I'd say. Before I die, because Slendy wants to kill me and eat my butt off of its hinges, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Slender the Arrival. I haven't played a horror game in a while. It's about dang time I did. Um, if you like this video, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have a suggestion for a horror game that you'd like to see me do on here, uh, let us know in the comments below. It brings you nostalgia, right? You can bet your bottom dollar I'll eventually get to it. Um, Want to check out one that's been done prior to this? I want to apologize ahead of time. There is quite a bit of lag in a lot of portions of it just because it was long before I started doing more updated versions um it's a three it's kind of like a first person shooter horror game but if you want to check it out why not click the link in the bottom right corner or try and take you to that destination um if you're gonna end up missing any of the stops on this road, why not click the link across right here when it shows up and they're trying to take you to the list involving wherever the hell i am in the meantime though i'm gonna leave this video here and the train's off to its next destination but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!